G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got today for you. Look at this. It's a really cool Halloween cat mould. Look at that. Now the inside of this mould, I think by the looks of it, is matte. It doesn't look as if it's got a shiny interior. So the pieces that we take out are going to be matte. So I thought, um, now, well, actually, Christy, my daughter, say hi, Christy. Hi. <laughs> Christy's here. Um, she has been decorating her um, workspace, her office space with Halloween things. And you may remember she did a skull a little while back with a light in it. So that's there as well. So she wanted to do these. So we're going to do these together. Now, we're going to put these cat eyes in. I think they are, what size are these? I think they are 12 millimetres. I think those are the 12 millimetre ones. So what you need to do, because you, you're putting the eyes in upside down and we don't want them to be cross-eyed. We want them to be like that. So what you need to do is you need to grab yourself a pen and holding it like that so that you can see where the top and bottom is. Underneath, just put a little mark like that. So that you can see where the top of that eye is and then turn it round and do the same on the other side like that like that and then you do your little line so that you can put your eye in like so and make sure that it's going to be straight up and down roughly so christy's gone ahead and done that on all the other eyes So we're ready to go. But what we're going to do now is she's going to dust them and she's picked some, we've got a co combination of Nick Pro and Let's Resin Chameleon powders. And we've got one holographic glitter because one of them's got a bow. Which one's got the bow? This one. This one? Yeah. I can't see. Oh, there's the bow in there. There, that's the bow there. So she's going to do the bow in silver. So that's what she's going to do. So she'll do one now for you. And then we're not going to make you sit through watching us dust all of them. Um, and we'll, she'll still dust them, but um, we'll put you on fast forward time lapse so that you can watch her do that. Have you picked which color you want where, Christy? Mm. You can go and do this one. This one? What, what colour is that? The red, orange, yellow in the hat. Okay, so you do that then. All right. So, yeah, tap it off a little bit so that you don't get it everywhere. Um, if we do get some in an area that we don't want it to go in, we can just use a baby wipe. I'm going to move that out of the way. And show, show everyone how you need to get into this area here too, Christy. Yeah. Because it's quite deep down in there and so that she can see what she's doing properly she can actually see how you can flip it over like that and you can actually see what you're doing because it doesn't look that big at all does it, it looks like it's a tiny little gap um, but it's a good idea just to to get in there as well so she'll do this one um, and then we'll put you on time lapse and we'll do the rest and then what we're going to do we have mixed some resin um, just a little bit of the Platinum 360 Plus. And we're just going to let that just go just a tiny little bit cured. And we're going to put a drop in each, or maybe two drops in each of the eyes and stick the eyes in. And then we're going to wait. We're going to go and watch a movie. And uh, then we're going to come back and mix up some more resin. Put some black tint in it. And pour the rest. But we do want the eyes to be sort of semi-set beforehand. Just so that they don't move. Because I think if you put them in now, well, you're not going to see anyway because we're putting them, we're filling them up with black resin. So you don't know if the eyes are going to move, float, whatever. So we need to stick them in first. Can't do the UV resin because the UV is not going to go through a black mold. So that's out of the question. So this is the only other way to do it. You could probably put a little bit more on there, Christy, if it's not covering the best. 
a little bit thicker on. I've never actually dusted a matte mold, so I don't know whether it's yeah, I'm just gonna look same. Right. Yeah, you might need to actually put on a little bit thicker. So maybe try putting it on and don't tap it. Okay. And just see if we get a little bit more, just to get a better coverage. Oh, that's better, isn't it? How's that? Yeah, you're gonna need it because it's um, not shiny. It's kind of grabbing. I think it's got. I don't yeah, know. it doesn't it's, spread as well as. No, it's not does. spreading as well. So you might have to do that. Put that on that side because you're left-handed. She's left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two left-handed kids. Go figure. It's supposed to be more creative, though, left-handed people. Well, I mean, look at me go. Look at you go. Is it going on better now? Yeah, it Thicker? is. Okay. Cool. Well, well it's going to take colors. you a little while. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Is that the Nick Pro one? No, is that the Let's Resin one? Nick Pro. Nick Pro. Okay. Yeah, I haven't used much of the Nick Pro. I bought them ages ago, but I haven't really used them because I, Let's Resin sent me some, so I've been using theirs. So it's nice to try a different one again. That's really shiny. I can see like a coppery colour and a pinky purple yeah. colour. Is that it? Is I'm it everywhere? Pop that back in. Poke it back in. And look, you <laughs> don't even know it's there. You can't even <laughs> it's see like it. It's done nothing. Gone. I know. I'm and then it's to... got... Yeah, go on. Just trying to avoid the ears. Yeah, these these in here, those that that's an ear. But if she does get some powder on it, um, that's okay. We can just wipe it because as you're dusting, the brush kind of flicks the powder, and it kind of goes where you don't want it to go. But I don't think it's going to matter if there's like a few little grains of that color on the ear. No, there's plenty of them already. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really pretty colour. It's easier to do that now, isn't it? It's yeah. a bigger piece. It's going to get all the way up here. And the inside was nice and thick like that? Yeah. You went over those bits, didn't you? That I did, yeah. Weren't covering very well. Yeah, it certainly takes more on this matte mould than it does on the shiny mould. Just doesn't spread as easily because it's got that texture to it, I guess. But hopefully, it'll look really pretty. Are you co are you going to color coordinate the hats with the eyes, or are you just putting anything? Oh in? no, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just whatever. There we go. Because the colors change anyway, don't they? They do, yeah. So under there, that's part of the hat, isn't it? That's done as well. Hey, Let's see, yeah, that's done. It's all done. Cool. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to put you on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to put you on a time lapse now. Let's take you down so that you can see Christy's amazing work there. Look at that. Look at those. It's very messy, isn't it? All in the vibe. Oh, you should see when I do it, Christy. <laughs> it's it's just how it is. So there's a little bit of dust in the in the ear there. So we'll just clean that off. And um, yeah, we will do that or she will do that and we will catch up with you when it's time to put the eyes in.
All righty. So uh, that's all done. She did an amazing job with all the dusting. So I've got a little bit of resin. It's been sitting for while well, she's done this. Um, so it's getting quite warm. Now, the only issue is that some of the eyes are really on an angle, and I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if the resin's going to like just run straight out of them, but we don't need a lot. I'm going to use this pipette because I only want to do like a drop, just enough to hold the eye. So you pick up one of your eyes, Christy, and see what you want to do. We'll just put a drop in there. It'll come out. <laughs> Might not be able to put that. Actually, I'm just going to slice. I'm just going to slice it off because it's quite narrow there. I'll make a bigger hole because it is getting quite thick now. Okay, that's that's drawing up nicely, I think. All right, ready. There's a drop. So we figured if the resin's quite, you know, getting quite tacky, quite thick. That's not really going to do. Not really going to work the way I was expecting it because the resin's getting... I just need to do a drop on a thick. toothpick. Um, yeah, maybe this. Yeah. This is, this is we'll right. try this. We'll just try this. getting thick. Oh, it's getting thick. Oh, we haven't left it too long. Yeah. All right, here we go. There's a drop. I'll just put the drops on and you can follow me, hey? Yeah, that sounds good. It's not big enough. It's getting quite tacky now. I need to just spread that. Bigger drop. Bigger drops, a bit better. Cover the whole thing. Okay. All right, now we're getting into a little routine here. I think it's going to work. Because some of the eyes are, you know, on an angle, um, if, if we did it when the resin was really still runny, I, I think the resin would just all run out. And then that wouldn't work at all, would it, Christy? Nope. Hopefully this will work. I think she's color coordinating the eyes to the hat. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just watching what I'm doing and she's watching what she's doing. I know which eyes I want to go where. Okay. Sort of. Whoops, that one's got a bit of a run. Grab that um, baby wipe, Christy. Just give that one a bit of a, a wipe there. getting tacky it's getting tacky one more to go we'll swap sides okay lucky last lucky last i think we've just done it i think we've just <laughs> just made the, with the resin it's getting really thick now okay here we go last one it's leaving that little train like fairy floss cotton candy all right, ta-da, we've done it. Now give them all a good little push just to push them right down in. Um, and then that will be it. At least we won't have to wait too long to no, come we won't back. Have to wait. <laughs> no, no, we'll just, I think we're going to go and have, um, actually it's 10.30, Christy, it's morning tea time. Ooh. I think I told you in another video, but it was Christy's 30th birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Christy! <laughs> and um, yeah, so she's come up for almost a week spend with us up on the Sunshine Coast. She lives about an hour and a half south of us. Um, so yeah, I made her a, a cheesecake for her birthday cake, which is what she wanted. I'm just cleaning up here a little bit. Uh, what was it? Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Honeycomb cheesecake. White chocolate honeycomb cheesecake with an Oreo base. So the, the honeycomb pieces, after a day or so, it's, they start to melt. So when you slice into it, all this honeycomb syrup oozes out and it's 
just delicious. So we're going to go and have a piece of that now. She's going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a cappuccino. We're going to watch a movie. And um, then we're going to come back and we're going to pour into these. So see you then. Righto. We are back. We've got our resin. Uh, I said to Christy, how much resin are we going to need? And I showed her a, a, you know, a quarter of a cup and it looked a bit small. So if it was a quarter of a cup each, that's 60 mils each, 6 six to 36, it's 360 mils. So I made up 400. It may still not be enough. Not sure. Because, I mean, this one's only little, but this one's huge. So it's the deep pour resin from um, Let's Resin. You can pour up to 10 centimetres or 4 inches and put a big scoop of Let's Resin. Uh, sorry, not Let's Resin. It's still LR. La Res black pigment paste in there. Now what I'm going to do is because Christy's going tomorrow and the deep pour resin takes a couple of days to set, I'm going to have to put it in the food dehydrator. So this is one of the shelves from the food dehydrator. So we're going to put it on there and pour our resin in and then we can just pick the shelf up and slide it in. Let's make sure that's all sitting correctly. Does that look as if it's sitting flat, Christy? Yeah. It's a bit, bit hard to know. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got our little paper cups here. We're going to pour some black resin into those little paper cups and then we can very carefully pour into these little cavities. I'm a little bit concerned about how we're going to get the resin into into these little areas here. What do you think, Christy? Yeah, might be a bit difficult. That one's okay. Just not sure how we're gonna get in there. It's a very thin resin though, so I'm hoping it'll just flow in. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. See how we go. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of resin. As you know, if you fill your cup too much, the resin runs down the outside and we don't want that. So we're just going to take a little bit of resin and pour in. Are you going to do the easy one, are you? Oh, you've got it. Right. <laughs> sides. sides. You want me to do this one? So basically just pour into, into the middle. And I'm going to let my resin flow on its own into that little crevice there. See how it's going in? And I'm hoping that if I just pour it nice and gently, the resin's going to go in and find its own, own way. But it is a very thin resin, so it should, should <laughs> fill in those little cavities. We can give it a bit of a, a tap, tap, tap. I guess like this. I just got to be careful that we don't dislodge the eyes. That's all. Do you need a bit more now, Christy? Yeah. Put your, put your little cup there. There we go. Can we see Christy's little cup? Yes, we can. I'll give you a bit of paper towel, Christy, in case you get um, any drips that you need to clean. But I think it's pretty good. If you don't fill it up too much, it doesn't drip too much over the edges. Now just don't fill it up too full because mm. we need to be able to carry it over and I guess we'll work out where the mold's going to go because it's very, it's not very even the, this mold. This is the one I'm concerned about. This one. How are we going to get the resin to go in there? I'll pour Maybe in we'll here. we'll do that one first before we fill too many in case you need to pick it up and squish it. So it's going down the side there. This one's a bit full. Um, I'm hoping it's going to just flow in, but it could just catch a bubble. I'm going to do that. This is the only one really that's got that really narrow little chamber. I wonder if I can just follow. I can't see what I'm doing now because it's dark. I'm just... Swinging it. I think I'm. I think I'm getting it. I hope. 
Can we squeeze from the bottom? You should be able to. Can you feel where it is under there and give it a squeeze without popping the eyes off? I don't know if I'm popping the eyes off or not. No, okay. And then that, it goes all the way around yeah. as well. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just going to be careful we don't pop the eyes off. That's all. It's... I think it'll be all right. Yeah. It'll be all right. I think I'll, it's I'll, gone in. Yeah, I'll go around again with the toothpick. You keep going on this one. I'll just keep going around with the little toothpick once more just to see if it's going in there. If it gets a bubble and it gets a bubble. Anything you could do with like is open it like you did, you know, mm. when you were dusting, how you opened it. But I don't know. Where where do you open it from? Well it goes all the way down, so it's not exactly easy. This one. Okay. Alright, well we'll just have to we'll just have to leave it like that and hope for the best, eh? Hey? Yeah, that's the tricky one. Oops. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pour into the middle here. And again let the resin flow on its own into the little hat chamber there. Why am I making such a mess? And you're being nice and neat and I'm making a mess. We're swapped. Do you think we're gonna have enough? No. No. <laughs> have to make up a little bit more, eh? make a little bit more but we'll wait until it's in the chamber in the um, food dehydrator and then just fill them up a little bit more so that we're not overflowing them we're trying to carry them there do you want to do this one, Christy, and we'll do a fresh batch for that one? Or have you got oh, enough to do? I don't have enough to do it, but I'd already started pouring. Uh, it's going to be close. Yeah. We don't, we're not going to need very much. No. Oh, probably only need like another little cup full, hey? Yeah. That's okay. You got I'll, mix, I'll mix it up and we'll make another one. <clears throat> Righto. Made, made up a little bit more resin. Just another... Two ounces or so. Probably don't even need all of that, but it's really hard to mix up smaller amounts. So we're just going to make sure we don't overfill these now so that we can carry this tray over. What's that in there? Like the hat. A little bit of silicone, like a flap over, but I think it's supposed to go in there. I think it's the corner of the hat. That one needs a little bit more. But yeah, once um, once we've got the tray in, I will show you in a minute. Oh God, that's that's really deep in there. <laughs> once we've got the tray in, um, we will just add a little bit more. Hey, yeah, top them up. Okay. Um, now I'm going to just put you on pause while I walk over there, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's in. So this is the food dehydrator. I actually bought it a long time ago to make like um, chew things for the dogs like beef jerky and chicken strips and things like that for the dogs. But it works really well for resin. You do have to just make sure that your trays are level though. At the back of the unit I've got I've got it propped up on some pop sticks because it wasn't level. Um, I do also have this one, the Let's Resin one, which is also great, but it's um, more for small, smaller pieces like posters and things. Ooh. But I find when I want to do oopsies, a really big piece like that, then this works really well for it. Alright, so we're finished. So Christy just push that in nice and Carefully, carefully, slide it in. 
goodbye resin pieces goodbye close the door that's it and what have we got it set to i think i've got it set to what does that 113. say 115 which is about 46 degrees and we just flick it on um and we'll come back and oh look i'll leave it in there for a, a few hours really um, but it's going to be better than um two days see you soon okay so it's the next day um, I had these in the curing, I call it the curing machine, food dehydrator for about, I think, six hours. And then I took them out um, and then just it just sat here overnight. So Christy is going to do the honours. I'll take that and I'll put it back in my little food dehydrator. Okay, Christy, go for it. This is the <laughs> most exciting part. Now this one, this one was the only one that didn't have a hat, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we Ooh. remember that it's going to be matte. Oh, look how oh, cute it is. Look at the eyes. And look at that. It looks exactly the same. Put it next to that. It looks exactly the same as the mold. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love those eyes on it. Now, if you did want to have these in a gloss, you can take them outside and put them in like a pizza box type thing, open the pizza box up, and just spray them like that with um, some clear lacquer if you wanted them to be clear. <clears throat> but I discussed that with you. Hey, Christian, you yeah. said you wanted them to be matte rather than glossy. That's just a hat there, isn't it? Yeah. This is so exciting. Christy's got her bird Zari on her shoulder. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> After you've done that, bring him down and on your finger and show people. He doesn't like me. He'll bite me. <laughs> Make sure you put that in front of the... Um, you got it? Little... Got it? Yeah, just take your time. You don't want to tear or um, break your resin. That's it. Sometimes they come out easier than others. And I think the hat goes like right... Deep it in, does. doesn't very it? deep in there. Ooh. Oh, how cute is that? That's a cute one too. It's not showing a lot of colour, is I it? I think maybe because it's not shiny. Honey. Yeah, maybe because it's not shiny. That was the silver that you put on. We'll see what happens with the other ones. The eyes are so bright though. The aren't eyes they? are gorgeous. Lovely. Yeah, I wonder if it does make a difference. Oh, want to come and say hello? There's Zari. <laughs> He's back up on her shoulder. Here's a sun conya. Yeah, maybe they don't um, show as much the, the chameleon powders on a matte mould, but it's, it'll be an interesting experiment, I guess, because I've never never really put them on a matte mould before. I'm not sure what that is. I can't quite see. That might be part of the hat. Yeah, it's part of the hat. It's just the colour's gone underneath. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah, I see now. It's a top. Oh, oh that's oh. cute. That one's very nice. The yeah, green. you can see the green on that one. And it matches that bit of green on his eyes too. That's what I was going for. I guess in in like in hindsight, if they were too bright, it might look weird against the mat. Yeah. But you can kind of see a little bit of the black coming through. Look at the texture on the back of that. And you can depending on which light you're in, it changes changes colour. Now what's this one? Do you remember what colour this one was? This one was the Red and gold sort of yep. colour. Look at that. That's cute. Yeah. I love the eyes. They make it. Definitely not as bright, but I think they do kind of match, don't they? Mm. What's that What's that terminology where something's just like, um, oh, but you've got faded? Not, almost like a patina, like when copper goes that sort of greenish, Blackish tone is it patina? I have no. She has idea. no idea. I don't know these kind of terms. <laughs> anyway, they look cool, but you definitely got a purple, a green, and a red here. I don't know what this one is. This one was the one in the bonnet. Okay. I think. Oh, this one's got pinky eyes. That one's cute. Look at that. It's definitely a much more muted color. Muted, yes. Oh, there we go. Yes, and the eyes are 
It's straight. Oh, this one's kind of moved a little bit. This one was really on an angle, wasn't it? Which, yeah. Which one was that? It's that. This eye, oh, yeah, it was really on an angle, so it's moved a tiny bit, but still, still straight up and down. Yeah. Very cute. I guess when you put the eyes in, um, when they're on an angle, you've got to follow the angle a little bit, maybe. But yeah, you can still definitely see that the um, the cat eye there. Oh, this is the biggest one. She's left the biggest and best for last. You're doing a great job. Nothing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bonus when nothing's broken. Don't say that yet. We're not finished. Okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't notice he had a collar on. That's cute. Oh, has he? Yeah. Where was that? Hidden. Where? Way down here. Yeah, look at that. It's just got a little bow on. Where is that? Oh, it's this. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> oh, right down, right down there, down there. Yep. Yeah, no, I didn't notice that either. I you think, could color it. No, I think having the color like this, where it looks kind of faded and um, patina. Um, is that right? Like yeah. older, yeah. It really matches the Halloween vibe. I know it does. Now bring them into the center a little bit so everybody can see them. Like so into the middle of our work table. Yeah. Okay. So which is your favorite? I don't like how this one turned out. Yeah. Yeah. The green. Uh huh. And this one. Yep. Yeah. They're all very cute. I love them all. And if you wanted to, you could, um, you know, get your silver pen or something and and color that in or go into there but sometimes less is more isn't mm, it yeah let's, let's go down for a little close-up on each of them and have a little look so this one was just the the plain black he hasn't got any collars or hats on him and then this one let's see if we can pick up the color a little bit that one's the green. We might have to go outside and, and see the different colours. But yeah, definitely not, the chameleon powder is definitely not as bright on um, a matte mould. I didn't really know what to expect. And then this one, this one looks, they do look old though, don't they? Mm. Old and Halloween. -y. <laughs> that was the, was that one the goldy red one? Yeah. Mm. And then this was the green. It's got some cute detail underneath there. Yeah, I like this one too, Christy. And it's got that silver. You did the silver, holographic silver on the bow, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And then this one. Or well, maybe some of them have just got more powder painted on them. Don't know. Dusted on them. They're so cool. Alrighty. So there we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed our Halloween video. And Christy, which is your favourite? This one. Yep, me too. <laughs> me too. Love that one. Alright. Thank you so much for joining us here on our Halloween poll. And uh, we will see you. Well, I will. I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Thanks so much for joining me, Christy. Oh, it was fun. <laughs> she's back home today, so she's going to take these with her. I want to see a photo of them decorated on your, your desk, Will do. your workspace. <laughs> okay. All right. Take care, guys. Happy Halloween. Bye for now.